So if you have things at home that are eyesores, this video is for you. Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking and watch this video. If you're new here, my name is Sandy and on this channel we talk about pursuing a career in interior design and I give you home decor tips. Today's video is on the home decor side of things. I am talking to you about some beautiful alternatives to some normally ugly ass shit. <laughs> Keep on watching if you want to know more. So recently I have been shopping for some office furniture and office furniture, oh goodness. Find chairs that like feel good and don't like hurt your booty and your back and your everything, but also look good, it's much more challenging than it should be. So as I was going through the rabbit hole, I came across some beautiful alternatives and things. And I was like, this would be a great video. There are some things that are just hideous, hideous, that designers definitely try and make look a little bit more uh, luxe, more, <laughs> just more elevated. The first item that I have a beautiful alternative for are desk chairs. Ooh, desk chairs, ooh, goodness, goodness, how I fight with desk chairs. I think it's so cute when someone uses like a dining chair in their office area and how adorable that is. It is so not practical. I know that people are in pain. If you're gonna be sitting at a desk for an extended period of time, a dining chair is not gonna cut it. You definitely need something that is meant to be sat in for an extended period of time. So ergonomic chairs are for sure the way to go. Some ergonomic chairs just look like freaking transformers. Like, I'm at, if I sit in this, is it gonna become something else? Like, I don't even know. Are you going to, like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Start talking to me. <laughs> Anywho, they do not... They're not pleasing to the eye. And some chairs that I found that were pleasing to the eye. I love gold. I love, love me some gold. I like blacks and whites. I love neutrals and metallics, all that good stuff. Two from Amazon, I found this white one with some gold accents that looks lovely, that comes in a couple of different colors as well. And I found this black one that also had like the nice ridges on the, in the back that's like pretty comfy for you. They roll and they have arms. I really like office chairs that have arms uh, because I just always like to rest my arms somewhere. And your arms should be at a 90 degree angle when you wanna like have things so this is a 90 degree, duh. <laughs> you wanna have your arms at a 90 degree angle when you're typing. So a lot of people will have like the pull out with the keyboard, so that way you can rest your arms in the armrest and then still type away while you're keeping your body straight. Um, so if you do not have one of those, I highly recommend getting one, if you can, if your desk allows it. Second item I wanna go into are extension cords. Oh, extension cords. <laughs> they're necessary. They're definitely necessary. Obviously, houses are not made with them. like a whole wall of freaking outlets. No, would that look good? You need extensions. I totally get it. But goodness, must they be so snaky, windy, slithering looking? I just, I can't stand them. So the extension cords that we're normally used to are these guys, right? You can buy this from your Targets, your Walmarts, you know, any kind of um, store that's like those. And they're not the prettiest, they're just kind of, oh, you know, I'm an extension cord. <laughs> and this is what they look like and we're all familiar with it. But another company that reached out to me called Jewel, they're actually the collab for this video, shout out to Jewel, they sent me an extension cord. And when I got the box I, and I opened it, I had this guy. And I was like, ooh, okay, now, you know, first, first look, definitely much more attractive than this. Super sleek, modern looking. And in the box, it says, there's always a better way of doing things, a smarter way, a more beautiful way. That's the essence of Jewel. That's cute. I like that. So this is off the bat, definitely prettier. One thing that bothered me when I first opened it is like, this one has like six outlets. And this one has three. I was worried about that, but here's why I am no longer worried about that. So when you pull it out, and you're just holding the cord. So this is the extension cord. You're like, wow, this is so compact. Where's the cord part? <laughs> um, the cord part plugs in here. So it's detachable, easier for you to store and move around, take it wherever you need to take it. If you're taking it, I don't know, to an airport, to your hotel, you're traveling, whatever. The extension cord actually comes underneath this thing. When you pull it out, here is the cord. And this is a four foot cord, and this would plug into this area here, and then 
bada boom, here is your port. I now have this, and if I need to store this anywhere or move it around, I can detach it for easier placement and movement. So if it's a four foot cord, if you need it to be longer, they also sent me an eight foot cord. So this is the eight foot cord, this is the four foot cord, and both of them can be plugged into this section of the outlet. So that was great, I thought that it, the fact that it's detachable makes it a little bit more versatile, so you don't have to buy two extension cords. This one is not eight feet long. I'd have to buy another one that was eight feet long if I wanted to use it. Also, again, she cute. And, and remember I told you I was worried about there only being three outlets here. So no, there are three, however, it has USB attachments and a lot of extension cords don't have that. So I'll always have to get that little box thing that you would plug in here. And most of the things that I plug into my extension cord button on my nightstand is or are things that have a little box that they're USB. So there are two USB here and that totally eliminates the need for extra ports here because I wouldn't need them if I could plug my USB directly in here and charge my phone. Lastly, this is a cute feature. When you have this plugged in, these little guys, they light up, making it easier for you to find you know, the cord and what you need. Uh, I think it might just be an aesthetic feature because I'm, if I'm looking at it, clearly I can see it, but it's cute that it lights up and it comes in three colors. There's this white one, there's a black one, and a red one. Um, I, I think as far as extensions cords go, this is pretty cute looking. This is pretty modern, sleek. So this is definitely a beautiful alternative to your normally ugly item. If you would like your own jewel, then I will put my code down below so that you can get 10% off. Make sure to check out their website because they're definitely changing the look of extension cords and I definitely approve. The next item are towel bars. I wouldn't say towel bars are ugly per se. They're just kind of like, eh. Okay, it's a towel bar, I need it functionally. I need it to be there. This towel bar though, that's like gold with all these squigglies, delicate, so cute, so pretty. I found out about it from the Instagram of Alexander Gator, who's a YouTuber who does tons of makeovers and things on her channel. Um, and I saw it, I had to share it with you guys. It's much more pleasing to the eye to look at than your standard builder's grade towel, towel holder or towel bar. It also comes in a toilet paper holder and a hook for any kind of things that you need to hang, like robes or bags or those kinds of things. If you're in a rental, you could probably just remove the towel bar that you have, store it under the, store it under the bed or in the closet, and then you could put this much more aesthetically pleasing one up. And of course, remember to swap it back out when you are leaving. Trash cans. Whoo! Trash can. Your trash can does not need to look like Oscar from Sesame Street lives in it. Like, there's not a, a puppet living in a trash can. The, and that trash can looks gross. Um, a few rules about trash can. Never have an open trash can. No, 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 no. Okay? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What song is that? No, 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 no. I think that's Destiny's Child. That might be Destiny's Child. Okay, anywho. Never have open lids because they just look or for lack of a better word, trashy. They're just not aesthetic. Every time you pass by, you're gonna see what's in the trash and it just it doesn't look as clean. And you wanna make it more of like a closed storage thing. So you definitely wanna have a lid on there always. In addition to always having the lid on it, you definitely would probably want it steered more towards a metal trash can. They just look a lot sleeker than your plastic one. So I found three on Amazon that are so cute and meet my criteria. They, are, uh, they have a step. This is great because you definitely, I love having the little steps so I don't have to like actually lift it up because I'm lazy and I live in a first world country. Such a first world problem. Uh, how dare I have to lift up the trash can lid with my hand. What am I, a peasant? <laughs> That's so silly. But anywho, it's always great to have the step that is actually very convenient and functional. There's one that has the the, it's like white and then it has like a gold lid, which I think is really cute. I love me some glam elements. And there's another one that has, um, it where it's all one color, but it's like really sleek. So the, so the top of it isn't chunky. It's like super low profile. That's the one that's similar to the one that I have in my bathroom. These particular trash cans that I'm showing you guys are uh, great for like your home office, your bedroom, your bathroom, smaller places. So not for the kitchen where you need something that's much more sizable. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Not like these bottles, not like kicking them back. <laughs> I 
Bottles as far as like your shampoo, your soap, your conditioner, I cannot stand the way those look. I feel like they ruin the aesthetic of the bathroom. If your bathroom is like, you know, whites and grays and then you have like this hot pink conditioner, Ugh, no, not for me. I know that might be really picky and silly, but I don't like it. I don't like it for the kitchen where you have like the Dawn or, or a bottle or whatever other thing you're using. I love when you have the glass bottle. So a lot of people like the glass amber ones and those are sleek, cool looking as well. But I personally like the clear glass ones that are like just your, your regular normal clear glass with the different color tops. So the one that I found on Amazon, they have the embers, but they also have the um, chrome tops or rose gold tops or copper tops. So check that out because that is much more aesthetic and that can match so many different styles where I feel like the amber ones are like so specific to whatever that person's style is and the clear ones seem that they could just be more of a chameleon for different styles. That concludes today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, okay? It really helps the algorithm a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Commit to me, okay? If you like it, then you need to subscribe to it. This is my ring. And I don't actually need a ring from you guys. What I need is for you to hit that subscribe button. Commit to this channel. You're out here, you're playing the field. Come on. <laughs> and a huge thank you to Jewel for giving me the extension cords that I use in today's video because these are definitely some beautiful alternatives. And if you're interested in buying any items I talked about in today's video, check the links in the description box. And if you want a discount on your Jewel item, use my code for 10% off.